So how does one get started? You said with uh, Scholastic, because you were writing for a couple of different groups with them, which sounds like a really smart thing to do to launch your book, uh, to launch your, your career um, by working. So how did you get hooked up with Scholastic Book Clubs to write with them? So it was actually through a friend. Um, I, when I visit schools, I talk to kids about how you never know that the people you're sitting around right now could shape your life later because it was a friend of mine since second grade who, um, you know, is a dear friend of mine who knew that I loved to write, who had written with me on the school newspaper in high school. And we had done lots of writing projects together, you know, throughout our schooling. Uh, she was working as an editor for Scholastic and knew I was a writer, even though I was working as a technical writer in public health at the time. So I wasn't doing anything children's writing related. And she needed help on a series that she was working on where she was having to do some serious rewriting um, and asked me if I would maybe be able to give her a hand. And she said, you know, you won't be credited. Um, and I, but, you know, we can pay you this tiny amount, but it might lead to something. So I decided to try it. I think I was overconfident at first thinking, well, I know how to write. You know, like a lot of people think like, oh, how hard can it be to write for kids? And so I thought I would, I would try and then realize very quickly that I was even more boring and, you know, l less exciting for a child to read than the original draft. So I really struggled for a bit to try to match the style that she was trying to achieve and looking at before and afters of other books she had edited and finally felt like I, I was figuring it out. Um, and luckily they were happy and wanted me to continue. So over time, I ended up working on you know my own books in the series and other series. And for me, it was, it was a nice crash course in learning how to write for kids. And um, some of the rules that I had learned about writing you know, thrown out the window, things like never use exclamation points or in this type of writing too, it was more activity oriented and little snippets and sidebars and um, stories to include along with activities for kids to do was a lot of, you know, drumming up excitement about espionage and about space and, um, you know, different subjects like that. So it involved a little bit of research and then writing. And, and for me, it was just a, a great way to connect with books for kids and to take myself back into that mindset of being a kid and what would make me excited. Um, and so that was, yeah, it was a great school for me to learn how to write for kids. Prior to that, were you on a trajectory to become a writer of some kind or? Well, I had been doing, I had been working in, in international public health and I was working a communications specialist was my title, um, which means nothing really <laughs> and so I was I was doing a lot of writing and editing but it was um, for you know international public health organizations about you know diseases and um, you know research that was being done and so it was you know what it was important work of course and and, and a good type uh, of, you know a good way to use my writing skills but it was very different and a very different audience and so th the one parallel though was I was taking a lot of research based writing and trying to make it more accessible to different audiences. So um, once I started writing for kids, also I stayed in public health for a while and while I was doing both and I realized that writing for children really made me a better writer for adults too. Um, and especially as I was working with researchers who were so, well, one, they loved the passive voice like crazy and they also loved all of their data and just, you know, a lot of detail and sometimes, you know, the whole idea of less is more and just you know, um, get to the point and stuff like that was was really helpful um, and and just trying to simplify things and make them more more understandable so um, so yeah so that's how I started and I, I, I always loved writing it was something that um, I was excited about as a, as a kid I wrote like I mentioned I wrote for my school newspaper I used to write at home for fun but I never really imagine creative writing as a path for me. I think if anything, I thought of journalism as a possibility, you know, I thought of perhaps, you know, well, I ended up in communications work, but maybe even law school or things like that. But I had never thought of writing creatively as even something I would, I would pursue in any way. It was, wasn't until it fell in my lap. <laughs> I decided that it was something I could try 